Hello and welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor's Khazana. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe of lobia or chawli. We even call it chawli. It's like red kidney beans, but it's different form of kidney beans, and it's very easy to cook. So we'll start with the recipe ingredients. We need chopped onions, chopped tomatoes, a bit of tomato puree if you want, some ginger and garlic. The main the chawli, as you can see, red chilli powder, whole red chillies, turmeric powder. Salt to taste, cumin seeds, some oil, and for garnish, chopped coriander leaves. So first of all, we'll start with the oil. Heat some oil in a pan till the oil heats. I'll just tell you the chawli, the raw chawli is like this or lobia. It's an ideal Sunday lunch: lobia chawal, lobia rice, or chawli rice. Soak it overnight and then boil it. I've done it in a pressure cooker, so it's very easy. See, it looks like red kidney beans, but it's a different color. Sister of red kidney beans. Even when you cook the rajma or the kidney beans, you can use a similar recipe. So once the oil is heated, you add some cumin seeds and a bit of cinnamon, just for flavor. You add the chopped onions, whole red chilies. You can just take out the seeds, so it's not very spicy. You can de-seed them. Once you've taken out the seeds, we'll add it just for flavor and nice taste. You can add green chilies if you like. It's up to you. Now we need to cook the onions till it's nice and brown, golden brown. We'll add some ginger garlic paste to it. You can add fresh ginger garlic also to it. It gives a nice aroma. Freshly chopped garlic. I love the taste of garlic, and it goes very well with this lobia. You know. This is a typical North Indian style, but you can make it the South Indian style where they add lots of garlic. They don't add tomatoes and a bit of coconut if you want. Now, as you can see, the onions are nice and golden brown. We'll add some chopped tomatoes. If you don't want to add chopped tomatoes, you can add only tomato puree. Here, I'm adding both. And now, let it cook till the tomatoes are nice and soft. We'll just add a bit of the masala, some turmeric powder. Red chilli powder, not too much of red chilli powder because we've added whole red chillies. Salt to taste. We've added salt while cooking the lobia or the chawli, so just go easy on the salt. Let it cook for about four to five minutes. You can add a bit of the water to it while it's cooking. I do this so that it's nice and blended. Add water slowly to it. Becomes nice and smooth. Since this dish is eaten mostly with rice. Steam rice. We need a bit of gravy in it. You can eat it with paratha also. It's up to you. But I like it with steamed rice. Now we add the boiled lobia or chawli. I'm going to add some water and we let it cook because it needs to boil nicely and then let it simmer for about five to ten minutes. We'll check the seasoning. Just a bit of salt required. And now let it boil for about four to five minutes on slow flame. We'll add some chopped coriander leaves for flavor. Once the gravy is boiling, we'll cover it and let it cook for about four to five minutes on sim. Now you can see it's nice and cooked, well blended. You can garnish it with some green coriander leaves if you want. A nice steaming hot lobia with steaming hot rice. Yummy.